Hi there, it's Asia, and recently I've taken a computer-based IELTS exam in London. Here is my result. And last year I took a paper-based exam and got an 8. And in this video I want to share my tips and strategies on how to get a higher score in IELTS reading. I've also made videos about how to choose between a paper-based or a computer-based exam and my tips on IELTS listening, videos about writing and speaking sections are coming soon. Okay, let's get started! What's the exam format? Well, you'll get 40 questions and 60 minutes to complete them. In IELTS Academic, you'll get three longer passages and in IELTS General Training, five shorter passages. In IELTS Academic, topics are more scientific and you need to answer 30 questions in order to get a band 7. In IELTS General Training, topics are a bit simpler, but you'll be expected to answer 34 questions in order to get a 7. Expect to be short of time in IELTS reading. Basically, you have a lot to read and then looking for questions takes a lot of time. So time management is important. Usually, the first passage is the easiest and the last one is the most difficult. So the instructions in IELTS Academic, for example, tell you to spend 20 minutes on each section, but you should finish the first one in about 15 minutes, 20 for the second and 25 for the third. But ideally, you need to go through the questions even more quickly. Basically, when you find a question, and you don't know what the answer is, you can't find an answer, don't spend too much time on this question, just mark it like to review and move on. And once you finish all the questions, if you have time, then you go back and you'll be looking for answers to those questions. But you get yourself the best chance to get the highest mark if you attempt to answer all the questions. In a paper-based reading, You'll be marking your answers on the question sheets first, but then you're not going to get extra time to transfer your answers at the end. You must finish everything in 60 minutes. So what I usually do is I answer a certain section, like a type of questions, and then I transfer answers. Then the next type of question, transfer my answers and so on. I don't leave it until the end because what if you run out of time before you do that? Imagine, I saw that happen in the exam I took last year and a girl was transferring her answers and she ran out of time. She continued doing that and the invigilator came up and just crossed out, I don't know, five, seven answers at the end. Imagine, she just lost like seven scores like that just because she didn't do it before. So don't leave it until the last moment. In a computer-based exam, you just choose your answers on the screen. You don't need to transfer them anywhere. I would say you save a bit of time. Comparing between the paper-based and computer-based exams, I think it was easier and more convenient to do the reading questions on the computer. I had a large screen. I could see almost all the text without scrolling. Questions were on the same screen on the other side. I could choose answers directly. I didn't need to transfer answers anywhere. And I could see time left. So I would say it's more convenient. I actually have a separate video where I discuss all the differences between the paper-based and computer-based exams. And you can watch it in order to decide which exam is better for you. What's the best strategy for IELTS reading? Well, some people prefer to read the whole passage first and then they answer questions. Usually those people read fast and memorize information well. I tried this approach, it doesn't quite work for me because by the time I start answering questions, I've already forgotten what I've read and I need to go and look for the sentence in order to locate my answer. So I just waste a lot of time. So usually I read the first question and then I start quickly reading the text, not paying attention to any detail, perhaps unknown words, 
And when it feels that, okay, the answer is somewhere here, I slow down, I carefully read the sentence. If I need, I reread it, it's fine. I locate the answer, I read the second question, I resume reading the text, and so on. This strategy allows me to finish my reading section much more quickly. Do all questions follow the passage order? Oh, most do. That's why it is possible to read the question, find an answer, read the second question, find an answer, and so on. And it's much more quickly than to read the whole text and then look for all the answers. But, of course, some question types are not in order. For example, matching paragraphs or matching headings. Otherwise, it would be A, first paragraph, B, second paragraph, C, third paragraph. Like, no, of course not. And I did some research into which question types come in order and which don't. And I have a separate video which you can watch here. Let's move on to the next point. IELTS reading covers complex topics. And most likely there will be things you won't understand, there will be words you don't know. You need to navigate your way through this complexity. And a way to do that is to pay attention to keywords once you read the question, really try to understand what they mean and what are the key words in this question. Highlight them or underline them. And then look for those keywords for their synonyms in the passage. You will never find exactly the same keywords in the question and in the, in the sentence where you find an answer. They will always be paraphrased, so look for that paraphrase. And when you find a sentence and you feel that the answer is somewhere here, but you can't understand everything, try to simply guess how different parts of this sentence are related to each other, what they're talking about in general, because most likely the thing you can't understand is irrelevant and your answer doesn't depend on it at all. It's just there to confuse you. So try to ignore irrelevant information and choose the bits of information you really need. Another tip is highlight any names, surnames, dates, names of theories, names of places. Most likely there will be questions about them and you'll be able to locate them in the text very quickly. How can you highlight them? Well, in a paper-based exam you use a pencil, you simply underline words. In a computer-based exam there is a function to highlight words or phrases in yellow. You press the right button on your mouse and you click highlight and that's it. And let me repeat again, don't waste too much time on any single question. In my exam, I marked probably five questions to review. Those were the questions where I was not quite certain if my answer is correct. And then when I finished all the questions, I still had time so I could come back, look for answers, read, contemplate, because I knew that I've done the best I could do for all other questions. Some questions in IELTS reading are particularly tricky. Uh, for example, true, false, not given, yes, no, not given, and matching headings. I did my research into both types and I published separate videos about them. I'm gonna link them. And in my exam, I used the exact strategies I told you about in those videos and I could feel that they were really helpful because as soon as I saw a certain type of question, I knew exactly what I'm gonna do. I didn't think about should I read the text first or should I do that? I knew what I'm gonna do and it was helpful. It saved me time and I think you need to figure out your way of solving each type of question before you take your reading exam. So these were my tips on IELTS reading. Hopefully you found them helpful. And I'm going to publish videos about IELTS writing and speaking soon. All the videos I've mentioned in this video are going to be linked in the video description box below. Thank you for watching me today. Good luck with your preparation and your exam. Bye!